Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Silver rises again. Here comes $24 an ounce. Let's explore. For the second straight day, we see silver rising in price. A little mini bull market going on for the precious metal. But we shouldn't celebrate too hard yet. But nonetheless, we could see $24 silver again soon. If it keeps going at the pace that it's at. Right now, silver is up over 2% on the day. While gold is only up less than a quarter of a percentage point. Thereby narrowing the gold to silver ratio down to 76.37. Uh, that's telling us something. You know, silver is more volatile, and this is a pretty s sharp spike upwards, but we are seeing silver cro cross that psychological level of $23.50. And we're going to be referencing an article here from FX Empire. Silver records gains for the second consecutive day, and EIs move above $24 an ounce. The precious metal has performed excellently for the second consecutive day and could surpass the $24 level over the coming hours if it maintains the current momentum. Leading precious metals, silver has been performing excellently over the past two days. Silver's rally comes as a result of the weakness of the greenback, which has been underperforming following the economic policies rolled out by the United States Federal Reserve. Um, XAG started the week in a bearish trend, losing massively against the US dollar, while with little buying interest from investors. Silver nearly dropped below the $22 mark earlier this week, and we did see it drop for sure in weeks and a week or so ago. However, the bulls have been able to keep silver's price above the $22 key psychological level. The precious metal turned things around yesterday after rallying by nearly 1%. The weakness of the US dollar also contributed to silver's performance. Silver has continued the rally today and could extend the wins if the market conditions persist. So 1% move yesterday and an over 2% move today. As of the time of this writing, as in this video, silver is now at $23.63 for the ask price and $23.53 for the bid price. It's up by, you know, over 1.89% for the ask price or the bid price. The rally over the next few hours has seen the buying interest on silver increase significantly as more investors enter the market. And that is essentially what... Uh, where we're at here, people tend to buy on the way up and sell on the way down. You know, the smart move would be the other way around. Buy more on the way uh, down and less on the way up. But uh, that's the thing about psychology and fear, how fear drives these markets. And market investors would keep a close eye on the greenback as its performance would determine how silver performs in the coming days. If silver is able to surpass the $24 level over the coming hours, then the buying pressure would increase, and the precious metal would attempt to reach the $25 point over the coming trading sessions. You know, that seems a little bit far-fetched these days, especially with how lackluster silver has been in the markets, but you never know. It's all uh, very fascinating to see how these markets are reacting and uh, where silver is going. The dollar could still regain its strength if the 10-year U.S. T-bond yield is able to hold above the critical 1.5% mark. If the greenback regains its strength, silver could drop below $23 again, and a decline to that level would expose the $22.50 support level. However, silver could defend the $22 support level over the coming days, as it has done in the past. Now, a very hard resistance level is $20. Um, seeing it go below $22 means it's not it, it's not as easy to defend it here. Um, and we very well could see that again. You never know. A lot of it does depend on the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar certainly does weigh heavily in this area. But 
why is silver reacting more positively than gold in this regard? Well, uh, gold tends to be a more stable asset, and that's one of the reasons why I've moved more towards it as of late. But uh, in the past couple of days, I have made a few more extra little silver purchases that I may cover in, in another video. It's not much, but um, there were some pretty good deals that, that came up at my LCS and from a private uh, exchange. Nonetheless, there's where we're, that's where we are at now. You know, if, if we are eyeing this move from two days, if it moves upwards to this $24 level uh, for silver, um, it's easy to kind of get in on the bandwagon of where the prices are going. Um, and right now, two days is just not enough to really be uh, have the utmost confidence that we're going to see $24. But and of course, this article certainly is cautious in how it approaches it because, you know, that's if the trend continues. Um, and that is a big if. Uh, capital I, capital F in that regard as to where we are at. But nonetheless, it is exciting to see. I believe that the gold to silver ratio should be narrowing. Um, but then again, when we're looking at um, demand, silver demand is down low. And I'm not talking about people buying this physical metal here. That is not the kind of demand I'm re talking, referring to. That is still high. Um, and uh, that is why we are probably going to see this, uh, another version of the silver squeeze, but for very different reasons, as I uh, articulated in the video about silver squeeze 3.0. It's not because um, of any effect that we are going to have on the markets buying it. Although one thing that we are affecting by any stretch of the imagination is premiums. Premiums will skyrocket again if it is indeed true that there is uh, a short in supply of planchet blanks and finished minted products or cast products, or pressed products, or extruded products. Although you don't see much extruded silver these days. Uh, but there's where it is. And of course, you have to take into consideration wh uh, uh, what is going on in the crypto space because there's a lot of young people putting their money there. Um, and it makes you wonder if they would be in silver or gold if cryptos weren't in existence. My guess is maybe not. My guess is probably they would be in some other stock, but that's probably for a subject for another video. Um, but nonetheless, there's where the markets are. Silver is uh, certainly one of those metals that we're, we're starting to see uh, react much more rapidly in, in recent weeks here, uh, one way or the other, from downward trend to upward trend. And uh, we're now on this upward trend, and it'll be very fascinating to see where it goes. It was a spike. And not long ago that I talked about, it was a very brief in the, in the silver market. Um, so it's like it's kind of wanting to kind of push out. And I believe that its uh, increase in price is well due to the dollar, which means it is acting as a hedge uh, against the dollar as opposed to being a commodity. And I think that's why, and that's the only reason why you're seeing the price goes up, which means that there's probably more of a likelihood that silver could actually um, falter in this upswing because people realize, oh, you know what, there's just not a lot of demand for the physical metal in the, as an industrial metal because of the supply chain issues, which work against its price in terms of, um, uh, in terms of price performance in that area as a commodity. But in terms as a hedge, uh, a, a, an asset of value that works to protect as an, against economic instability, Silver is still there and performing in that regard. And I think that's why we're seeing these moves and these radical moves um, and the upside over 2% in one day. And just think about it. Not that long ago, we were in the low 20s, tw low 22. Now we're getting very close to $24 an ounce. So there you have it. There's your uh, precious metals kind of market update, especially for silver today. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And I want to make you aware of a video I posted this morning. Not many people saw it, uh, but uh, it's an interesting story about silver uh, from years gone past. I will post a link to it in the end screen of this video or maybe in a pinned comment below. Hope you'll take the time to check it out. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch this video and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and 
subscribe.